me father! Welcome to Ms. Mojo Glow, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cast-breaking moments that were left in the show. Number 10. The Nosebleed – Veep Fans of this satirical comedy will fondly remember this iconic season 3 moment. Selena has just discovered some huge news, and Gary is so taken aback that his nose starts bleeding. Not only was this scene acted impeccably by both Julia Louis-Dreyfus and Tony Hale, but they clearly had a blast filming it too. <laughs> Hale's Gary goes from anxiously sobbing to hysterically chuckling. It's so entertaining watching these actors seemingly have as much fun shooting the scene as we're having watching it. Number 9. Squawking – Murderville This one, featuring guest star Kumail Nanjiani, has to be one of our favorites of the series. He's a rookie detective working with his superior, Will Arnett's Terry, on a case involving a deceased tech billionaire. Terry comes up with a good cop, bad cop plan that involves Nanjiani inventing an ugly walk and making some strange sounds. What's your signature sound? As they put their plan into action, neither actor can hide their amusement. Nanjiani chuckles openly as he debuts this signature sound. Number 8. Betrayed by the Calzones – Parks and Recreation Leslie aside, there's probably nothing Ben Wyatt loves more than a calzone, so we were heartbroken for him when the Neapolitan dish turned on him and his colleagues in this season 5 episode. He, Ron, and Chris all worry that they haven't heard from Tom. As Ben rolls over to the phone and dials with his face, pay close attention to Chris. Sure, his exaggerated facial expressions could just be pangs of pain. However, when you look real close, it sure looks like he's laughing. Oh, and how's Tom, you ask? Yeah, he's fine. Number 7. Did Rosa Smile? Brooklyn Nine-Nine When actress Stephanie Beatriz finds something amusing, she seemingly can't help but show it. We see it in this Season 2 episode when Holt joins the others in guessing why Amy is running late. There's also an instance where she struggles to maintain composure when Jake screams at his colleagues as part of an undercover ploy. And pay close attention to her in this scene where Gina won't look up from her phone. You can see her throw her head back in amusement when Gina throws a stapler at Boyle. Hey, girl. Oh! Oh, catch you later. Number 6. Interview Laughter – Martin One of the things we love about this sitcom is how real its characters feel. What do you do when you find something funny? You laugh. Take this scene where Martin can barely speak after his scene mate, Tommy Davidson, cracks him up. We get a glimpse into the actor's inner world while still remaining immersed in the story. But we got a 10-mile lake out back. Lake. Call it Lake Varnell, yes. Catfish are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this sitcom was often hilarious, but seeing the cast enjoy themselves makes it so much funnier. Number 5. The Flashing Story – The Office the Office featured way more than its fair share of shenanigans and hilarious quips throughout its run. Take the Season 3 episode, Women's Appreciation. Michael arrives at the office while the others reflect on Phyllis's traumatic ordeal. His reaction is as tactless as you might expect, and he soon tries to shift the focus elsewhere. I don't think laughing about it's a appropriate response. Oh, come on! We were laughing at Phyllis, but she's not even here, so no harm, no foul. Now, let's see what John Krasinski makes of this whole exchange. Yep, he's laughing. Sure, he tries to conceal it, but it's written all over his face. Well, the part of it we can see. Number 4. So Nobody Graduates? The Jamie Foxx Show In this Season 2 episode, Jamie and Braxton end up in traffic school, led by the ironically named Sergeant Easy, played by Mark Curry. At one point, he runs to the front of the classroom only to slip and steady himself on a desk. Several cast members instantly turn away as they seemingly start to break. In another scene, he falls as he enters the room. One of y'all laugh, you ain't gonna graduate. And sure, they could have called cut, but Curry styles it out so well that we totally get why they decided to use this take. Number 3. Kitty's Dance – That 70s Show Donna celebrates her bachelorette party with Jackie and Kitty at a club. Kitty unleashes her inner party girl while grooving in front of the dancer. According to actress Deborah Jo Rupp, the specifics of her routine were unscripted, and she saved her big performance for the taping. In the outtake, you can see that no one, not even Rupp, can keep it together. However, in the aired episode, Mila Kunis makes no secret of how hysterical she finds Rupp's performance. 
were just surprised she didn't fall out of her chair. Number two, various, but mostly Max Greenfield, new girl. There's always one cast member who struggles to keep it together more than most. And in New Girl, that seems to be Schmidt actor Max Greenfield. When Nadia tells him everything she likes about America, it certainly seems like he's fighting hard to stay stone-faced. There's also the time when Winston, angry at being abruptly woken up, delivers a hysterical dramatic monologue. Help me, father! Get out of my house. Get out of my house! Number one, Ross plays the bagpipes. Friends. Ross actor David Schwimmer seems to be an expert at breaking his castmates. His musical talents, or more accurately, Ross's lack thereof, tend to set them off too, especially Jennifer Aniston. In season four, we're introduced to his sound. Notice how Aniston hides behind her hand. She also had difficulty staying composed when Ross showcased his bagpipe skills a few seasons later. It's so funny that we'd fully believe they couldn't get a single take where no one breaks. But we always celebrate the fact that they ultimately chose to leave it in. 